There we go. So over to you, Paul. <clears throat> oh, can you all um all see that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's just um B110, uh, size 12. Um, first of all, I'm gonna put some uh UV oh, charity glasses. Uh, on the else. Oh, who's that? <laughs> I'll put that onto the bear hook. What resin do you favour, Paul? Um, I haven't got one. I mean, this is Deer Creek, but I've got uh, I've got all. I like the Vineyards one. The one that's in a, it's in a. This, this right. is quite good. Um, but I bought the wrong colour down. That's, that's black. That is. I don't want to use black. <laughs> but I think they're all pretty much a much in shit. They're really. Yeah, I think you are, mate. Super glue do the same thing. Now, and then you've got some globroid thread here. Start that at the back. And make a bit of a tag out of it. Wait for it to dry off. Before we cut that off. Okay, not quite what we. But anyway, it's dry. And then just come up and rib. Open turns until you get to the thorax. And build a bit of a thorax up. That's all the time done, really. Right, then put a bit more um, UV on. Oh. So you can't do that with super glue, Derek? No. <laughs> <laughs> they work quite well, actually. They're dead simple. They work very well. Do them in all colours of... Um, Blue is quite a good colour. Um, and then if you want to just colour the top. You've got to do this after you've put your um, UV on, otherwise it'll just soak right the way around. And then pop a bit more. And that's it. Dead easy. Easy, nice. But they work really well. You want to Want to zoom in a bit? That's better. Is that better, can you see? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Right. You can bang them out fairly quickly and all. Oh, you can knock loads of them out. They did quick one, one thread. A bit of UV. More fingers and thumbs now. Me, me, I'm just give me a second. Yeah, there's no rush, kid. There you go. Nice. Quality. Right, the next one. Um, B170, all equivalent, size 12. Anybody get on on Tuesday? You warm enough for everybody, was he? 
too off, didn't it? <laughs> I was melting. I was trying to grow to the afternoon. I was melting inside the bathroom. The chin, you know, inside now windows nothing. Well, okay. Put a, put a bit of thread down, and then when I, a grizzle hackle for the tail, just a few fibres. the tail as long as you want. I always find a slightly longer tail on dry flies than on wet flies. There we go. Put them away stuff. As long as when you tie them, you get all the tails the same size, you know. It. And dub with this some pale yellow dubbing. That's super fine. Now this is rabbit. Rabbit. You can use whatever. You can use Antron. You can use whatever you want, whatever you feel. Whatever you favour. <coughs> so we've got this out, sir. Yeah, and you want um, this is Charles Jordan pattern. Got two CDCs, any small ones. Tie them. Back to back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fiddly sticky. Yeah. So what I mean. Then put a, a small hackle in, small grizzle hackle. This is um, this is grizzle, but it's been dyed straw. Uh, a bit more dubbing. Wind that through. Now it turns. Mm -hmm. 
and turn it off. What's that called again, Paul? Uh, one second. Um, the duck's done. Um, Charles Jordan imitation of a hatching done. Yeah. And we're up with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Next, I'm going to do a, a muddler daddy. Right. <clears throat> B170 again, so it's 12. Try to chop to a brown thread now. <laughs> Don't really matter. This one's a, a tinsel okay. rib. I'll tie my ribbon on the way down. So you can tie it when you've done the body, it's up to you. If anybody's got any questions, don't be frightened to ask, Paul. I won't answer them, but you can ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to use some, uh, some dubbing. You can use hair. This is squiddle, what I'm using here. Completely up to you. A bit more. Anybody been fishing? I went yesterday um, over to Kingfisher. Any good? From, from the, no, not a touch, not a snitch. Too hot, isn't it? Well, it, it was about 22 and we got there. I got there for about 10. And they were jumping left, right and centre, but not, not even a touch. I think still water very hard this time of year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now you can just rib this as you want, but I like to put a little bit of a tag at the end. A few turns. And then rib through. Now for the legs. Um, Potted pheasant tail. Um, <coughs> believe it or not, I did do the, all these myself. That's a genuine. It takes a while, but sit down in front of a, a film. Once you get the rhythm, it comes natural. It takes about two hours to do that, once you've got the rhythm. What do you use to do the knots with then? Um, just tweezer. And then you just tie, tie two knots in, and then I've got a little tiny peg and peg them out there at the road. Oh, okay. And keep going up, and then when you finish it all, get the kettle and steam it on the top of the kettle, and it all come nice and like that. Oh, nice. Okay. But you can buy them if you want to, if you want to cheat. 
And then it's up to you. You want to do this, you can put three either side, which I like to do. You can put them sideways. You can put them the, the um, Irish way, which is all on the top, or you can all on the bottom, or round. It's completely up to you. I mean, you can put an extra couple of legs on if you want to, because some normally break off. The fish don't count them, do they? No. That's three, one side. I mean, when you come to do the trimming, you're more than likely going to cut one anyway. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's three either side. Uh, you want some deer hair? Just some natural. Um, get a small clump. Get all the under fur out if there's any. First one you've got to stack. Just want to produce a collar. What hook have you put that on, Paul? A one seventy size twelve. Okay, cheers. But equivalent, like I mean, whatever you use as a. Yeah, I do use. It. Two turns and then wind it round. It should go all the way around then. Then get your packer. I use the Stomfell one. And pack it all back. That can't be your dog, Paul, barking in the background. My dog? Mm, unless you haven't got one. I ain't got a dog. I wouldn't have one of that. I'm proud of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing I'd have bark in the background, I wouldn't be toying if there was one barking by me. You don't like dogs? I was bit one as a kid and never liked him since. So all these people saying, oh, he won't hurt you. They do. <laughs> Nasty bastards. <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly, Chris. <laughs> well, the next one you can cut the, the heads off because you're gonna you're gonna cut all this off. See, pack that back. Yeah. If you want it to float more, you put another clump on, but you, you tie it a bit further back. Now here's the easy bit, now he's trimming it all back. This is where you get deer air everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully, it shouldn't uh, cut the collar. It should have the collar left. And the, and the legs. <laughs> and the legs. 
Take it to him. I mean, normally I'll take it out, the boys to trim me. Have you ever worked in a barber's? Pardon? Have you ever worked in a barber's shop? No, no, no. I ain't, uh, I ain't that way inclined. <laughs> <laughs> Never been confused, mate. It's cool how much how much time you want to spend on it, like you know. I know after time I fat me a bit too much because you still got all the legs there. Yes, <laughs> Paula. Hey, right. don't know what's uh, happening there. All up with that. Mm -hmm. uh, when you catch a fish, how many legs you got left or that now? What's that look like? I can't see it myself. That's fine, Paul. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Right down. Okay. What's cluid up fishing like? <clears throat> I I haven't fished it for a couple of weeks. Yeah. But it was it was real hard going in the hot weather. They were all down deep. They were down deep. It's bottomless that place, isn't it? Uh, about two hundred foot. It is. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm going to try another. Just um, I don't know what it's called actually. Um, it's just got a like a wally wing. Or body and a hackle. It's dead quick this one. So, um, this is a English partridge um, feather. I'm going to put a size 12 in the um, grub book. B110. No, B100. Size 12. Brain thread. Feather. And stroke it back like that, yeah? Can you see that? Yeah. 
Theta equal if you can. I've got one. Better. Yeah. And then put that slightly to the side because when you, you wrap over, it's going to it'll come back on top. Just a leg. You find the old Wally wings twist your leader, Paul? <clears throat> this isn't a Wally, this is a Wally body like, I don't know what it's called actually. Um, you see in a second. Got a bit of cramp in my hand. There we go. It's a bit fiddly, but. Can you all see that? Yeah. So that that there is what it clouds on. Pop it pop out to the Get rid of all this crap now. And then for your tail, just two or three fibers either side. That's your tail, yeah? Can you see that? Yeah. How durable is that, Paul? Well, come off trying to fish you can get, but, you know, as long as you tie that in right, it's fairly durable. They just want to hackle on it, that's all. I mean, it's in costume, it's in a feather, isn't it, really? So if it lasts you one fish, or it not matter. I don't bother about what durability of anything is because most of my flies never see water. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dry flies, mine. <laughs> I don't get time for fishing. <laughs> right, now, call me a fussy one of but I'm stripping all the ackles off on one side. You could double that clover. over. I've stripped them off all the way along one side. And tie that in. Put your waist off. Now 
unhappily. Your way stuff. Be a good finish. You can, you can leave it like that, or you can cut the apples off. If you want it to lower in the water, you can cut the apples off at the bottom. Right. And I'll just make it sit lower in the water. And with the, um, with the hook being down there, that acts as a rudder, like so it'll Always sit upright. Would you, need to use, would you need to use floating on that, Paul, or is it sort of very, very... Yeah, you can boring. put a bit of floating on there, but there's, you know, you can put more hackle on there if you want to, but mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, there's no weight to it at all, like so. No. Yeah, can you all see that? Yeah. Lovely, Paul. Yeah. Never seen that before. Dave McFail did he? I think he does it with um, I think he did a, a green drake one. Yeah. Um, just a uh, mallard feather dyed uh, olive. And that's it. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. How are we doing for time? Plenty of it. Pardon? You got plenty of it. Oh. Yeah. I thought that took me a bit longer than that, but oh, then, once I get going, I'll tie it up a bit. Right. I'll try a humpy now. So be 170 size 12. <clears throat> um, yellow thread. So moose body. Um, you can roughly stack it if you want to. Not too, uh, too strict on it. And just tie that down to the bend. Off. Bring up some deer out again. 
got the longest day there, so should just about do. Crap out. I want to stack it. Be very careful, you need enough to fall back over. I'm sure it might drop out. Just don't touch too tightly because it'll flare. Let's get the over out in a bit. Got slightly long hair, it's a lot easier to do like with. I'm just about get away with this one. Make sure that's up toward him well over the back. Come back to where you toyed it in. Make sure that's well toyed down. We want some yellow dubbing. <clears throat> Quite a fat little fly, so I think they'll be skimping on the dubbing. Let's keep building it up. You can always add it on. They want to hackle. This will hackle again. Just 
pull some of the crap off. Always pull a few fibers the opposite side. So as it helps you to start. There's a few more fibers off on that side, the one you're going to wind on. And pop a bit of wax in if you want to. So make sure it's well tidy. Crap off. Get your deer hair. It's fiddly this. What you don't want to do is get it. Mixed up with your tail. Bear with me. Get all that over. This becomes your front wing. You want to see that? Yeah. And then if you turn the hackle. You buy stuff. Half inch tool, help you. Yeah, that's the humpy. It's a plant like a cork. Yeah. You want to see that? Yeah. Very, very nice, Paul. Thank you very much. Good. No, it's any requests because that's all I'd um, I got rid of. I think I'll get all them done. Anybody want to say anything else? Go on, all yeah. at once. <laughs> Pardon? How about a little shuttlecock? Little shuttlecock. <laughs> Applying that next door, capably coming out in the garden. <laughs> Racing green buggers. Um, just got deer hair everywhere now. One second. Deer is a nightmare, isn't it? I normally am doing when I go to shows. <laughs> Over in the stuff.
I used to wear an apron when I was tying my deer hair, so I could just flick it into the apron, hold the edges, walk outside and give it a good shake. <laughs> what about your apron? <laughs> yeah, that as well. <laughs> Paul, yeah. Steve was was asking about your little uh, woven nymphs. Yeah, because uh, he's only just been added to the WhatsApp group, so we can't look back. Uh, Who's this one? Uh, Steve Shorrock. Yeah. <clears throat> he's only just been added to the group, so we can't look back to see your, your the, the picture of your woven nymphs that you did. What do you want to try, woven nymph? Yeah, if you can do. Yeah, that'd be great, please. Wait a second. Steve's off to Bosnia with uh, Timbo. I think they want to <clears throat> Does anybody fish woven nymphs? Yeah. 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 Especially on the river. Any particular colour? Olive mostly, but you can you can have them in different colours. Well, this is B170, size 12. B175, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um Use yellow thread again, don't matter. Got a tail, I'll use some uh, grizzle, grizzle cock fibers. Put a bit of lead on. Cover it loosely first and that's it. Comes get the embroidery thread. Two fibers either side. Are they the same colour? No, no, there's a yellow and an olive. Okay. Sorry, Paul, what's that that you've just put on? Pardon? What's that you've just put on that you've just This is in? embroidery thread. Right. Comes in six strands, but you pull two off, so you, you only want two strands of each, yeah? Right, yeah. And then you, at either side, the shank, 
tie two, two fibers each, and then come all the way down the, the shank. A light and a dark, Steve. Right. Doesn't matter the colour, I don't just, um, you know. As long as they're two contrasting colours. That's it, and then we finish that off. Um, I'm going to do this. I'll turn that over there like that. I'm not going to move the camera. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Right. Now you've got a light and a dark. The light is going to be under, the dark's going to be on top. So bring the light up one to the front and then bring it up through the hole. So just, just a single notch, yeah? And then when you pull it there, lift the dark one to go on top of the hook. Yeah, can you see that? Yeah. And then snug it down and then pull it 90 degrees to the shank and again bring the lighter to the front it'll be the opposite side this time bring it through the back so it's almost like an overhand knot then really yeah it's just a simple knot then split the split the knot dark on top light underneath All right. and then snug it right down the important part is when you pull it you pull it to 90 degrees either side to nine o'clock and three o'clock and then just keep it going. It's those first couple of knots that are important and they fall. Yeah, you ju just make sure you get them snugged up to each other, yeah? And then just keep going. Normally you just take the, turn the voice towards you so you can see what you're doing, but I don't want to disturb all the camera and everything. Just make sure you get the light colour to the front. If you don't, and you swap it over, it won't, it'll look uneven. I think there's about 13 different weaves, isn't it, Paul, all together? I don't know. I and mean, then this is the one I like to do because it's quick and easy. Yeah, I think there's about 13 altogether. There's only 10 commandments. <laughs> I've broke nine of them. Have you? <laughs> oh, no. Um, I used to work with a chap and he wanted his, his lad to go to the, a Catholic school. He was the best one in the area. So he converted to Catholicism. And him and his missus went to, uh, went to the class and everything like that. And then for you inducted into the whatever they do, I don't know. Um, you had to go and confess your first confession, like. His missus went in and says, I don't know what I should say, I said, but I bro I've, I've broken nearly all the commandments except uh, murder. Can you see that? Is that coming up on the camera? Yeah. 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 And just another couple, I think. Once you get into the swing of it. Yeah, it's dead simple. Dead nothing. Is that the same technique that they use with um, the wire? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm just going to leave that there.
And that should give you a nice ribbed effect along the side, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Start your thread off again. Does it matter which side you have the light or the dark when you start? The dark's always to the top. If you look at most um, I mean, when you insects, it, they've got a darker, darker top and a lighter underneath. Yeah, no, I mean, when you're tying it down the, down the length of the shank before you start weaving. No, no, it, you can put it to either side. You just, when, you, when you're tying the knot, just make sure you've got the lighter to the front. Okay. It's equal, it makes it equal all the way then. Not tie them off. I'll come back to your thorax. And you want a small wing culvert. I don't know, it might be one on this. Partridge on there. Is a suitable feather. It should do your tweezers. You want just a small feather. Like that on the top, it's on the shoulder of the wing. Which isn't the best feather, but it's going to do. Just bear with me a second, I'll just put this feather. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm going to tie it in that point there. And you want the good side facing down. Uh, I'll tie it in upside down. Now that, that side, upside down. Um, I'm going to fold this over. Really small, just give, it, give me a second. On. Thank you, time, Paul. That's it, I've got it. Prep now. So try that. On the top. The right white stuff. Tiny bit of dubbing. There's a dark olive, I think.
And then pull this over. Have to be careful because it's quite delicate. You can get all this and you pull the feather out. And then and we finish. Get in there now. Just try and sort the Then put a dab of UV on the top. You should to keep the feather there because it's the only thing that's holding it on. Small dab on there. Set it off. Not the best feather to answer you, but you get the idea. That's it. Very nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with that? Happy. Yeah. Mine is a very durable laser. Aren't they? That'll last. Can you see that? Yeah. What are we doing for time? Loads of time. And now for you, I've got to go with my mum, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got when you when you've got a go, just call an end to it. Yeah, what time is he? It's just gone eight o'clock. Pardon? Just gone eight o'clock. Just gone eight. It only took me an hour to them. Bloody hell. <laughs> You tie well, so that took me off. at least hour and a half at least, but never mind. Um, right, what, what else can I do? They work quite well when you just, uh, instead of doing all the the thorax, dub thorax with the little legs, when you when you tie virtually all the the the, the knots all the way to the eye. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, that was just a, a nymph one. Yeah, you mean for more for the rivers? You mean? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Pardon. Can you do a wally wing, Paul? A wally wing. Yeah. You want me to? Um. 
Let's get it. Come on, I'll tell you. One minute. One minute. Paul's gone to the stock room, which is upstairs. B one seventy. Yellow thread again. There's a uh, some parties. Fibers for the tail. What size suck was that again, please, Paul? It's a 12. No. <clears throat> Come down the body, nice and smooth. Should be a thread. Just going to do a thread body with this. And then I'm going to put some uh, I ain't got a brown film. I'm going to use um, I'm going to use black, it doesn't matter. And just rip it. Yeah. Right, get your feather. Choose a nice feather, the equal the better if you can. Yeah. Choose some mallard flank feather, these have been dyed yellow. A 
Let's pull all the fibers back. Yeah, let's pull the fibers back so that's. And then. Get um, a nozzle for the UV. Poke. Through the front. So you got it like that, so you've got the size of the wing you want, yeah? All that Put your rubbish off. Maybe a small hackle. I want some wax in a second. That wax you gave us uh, the other day was good wax, Paul. You tried it? Yeah. Let it open up. Uh, this uh, hackle might be a slightly bit too big, or doing the wing too small, one of the three. Right. I'm going to grab two fibres. And two fibers on the other side. Put 
a white shirt. Hands off. Should have told the floor, shouldn't I? That's it. That's it. Can you see that? Yeah. <clears throat> How is it? Yeah, after that. Yeah. Cool. Makes it a lot easier using the UV resin nozzle. Yeah, so, yeah, Barry O'Clark um, showed us that when we went to the Partridge Day. Oh, look. If you look on the internet, the, the bloke who um, started the Wally Wings, you had to fold them and... Oh, I know. ...pass about with them for ages, like, you know. But yeah, I know. If you've got big, fat fingers, this is uh, the nozzle is brilliant. <laughs> Works fantastic. Um, quick, easy. As long as your feathers all right, that's that's fine. But we reckon you only use two fibers. If you use three or four, it's too much, and you only use one, what snaps off like so. Yeah. Two fibers is the. Is that okay, Derek? Yeah, that's fine, kid. Yeah, it's brilliant. Everyone all right? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Paul. No problem. Um, I'll probably be a bit more prepared next time, but. As I say, I've got to go and see my mum mom now, see what's happening. Um, it's, uh... it's good, enjoyable. Thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, Thank you very much, Paul. Um, one second. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thanks. Going to, uh, you're going to Ragley. I'll see you at Ragley. Yeah. yeah. I'll, be, I'll see you Sunday. Thank you, Paul.